Well, this is some guy in Hawaii with a really quick look at the Blade Fury. The Blade Fury is a Jacobs AR only available from the third director's cut vault card, Bunker Masters, or the Diamond Loot Room. You must have the director's cut DLC to get this weapon. Now, the Blade Fury is essentially a cross between a Jacobs AR and a Phase Puncher. Each shot actually fires, fires two projectiles in one, one doing gun damage, the other doing melee damage. When we combine this weapon with certain melee skills, perks or gear, a white elephant artifact, for instance, this is a standout performer. Actually, a white elephant turns the Blade Fury into a non-elemental clairvoyance that doesn't need to crit, although we should always try to crit with most Jacob's weapons. Based on parts, there are only 60 variants, not including four different sites. There's two triggers, five stocks, each with an optional accessory, and three foregrips. When you add the four sites, those are all the variable parts. Now, these 60 variants can be roughly divided into masher and full auto variants, each of which use one of the two different triggers. The full auto variant fires a single projectile per shot, but with the option to hold down the trigger and fire full auto. The masher variant fires four projectiles at once, each shot consuming two ammo, but only in semi-auto. All Blade Furies use the same 20-round base drum magazine, although the masher trigger increases this by 50%, the 30 rounds is also a stock accessory that can increase either of these by four rounds. There are plenty of builds for all four characters utilizing the Blade Fury. You can search them on YouTube yourself. I've also been experimenting, or I personally have been experimenting with a variation of my one gun flak Terra Ammo Regen build and have yet to encounter content the belt couldn't handle. This is a really fun gun. Okay, the gun has also been added to the match dam max damage lists. For those who, of you who want to look that up, I've also included a link to my usual spreadsheet. But with so few variants, there's not a whole lot of difference in what constitutes a top performer. Going for max listed damage is a viable strategy. Assuming we hit with all projectiles, we should also go for mashers. But I, I have rankings here for base damage, base DPS, base crit damage, and crit DPS. You can see where whatever variant you have sits in those rankings based on your stats. My flak build uses single shot variants which don't go through ammo as fast. Okay, FYI, Blade Fury projectiles are rather slow and they have a finite range. Okay, the former comes into play with fast moving enemies. The latter matters with some bosses like Psycho River specifically who can't be hit in his second half battle giant form unless we are well forward on the platform. Okay, neither of these are show stoppers. Just drawbacks that can be worked around or adjusted for as long as we are aware of them. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Short and sweet. If you like this kind of content, consider commenting, liking, and subscribing. You can also check me out on twitch.tv.com slash some guy in Hawaii. I stream three times a week, uh, Borderlands, and a bunch of other games. As always, stay safe, and thanks for watching.